Hey guys, what's going on? Hope you had a good day trading. Just going to go over what happened in my Discord sidekick traders uh, today. So uh, this is the link in the description you should see. It's a three day free trial. It's awesome. Come and check us out. We're growing really, really rapidly. I think half a dozen people joined just in the last few hours already, which is awesome. So uh, really fast growth, getting really popular in this Discord. It's basically Scalp and SPX and Spy. So if you like that type of thing where you can get like a really high win rate, and make big gains, percentage gains uh, on these things. You have to be quite quick, but we're kind of helping people and teaching them how to do that, how to be quick, how to set up the Discord, how to set up the uh, Thinkorswim uh, to get in and out of these trades really quickly. I think it's something that you'll really find profitable. I know a lot of people are enjoying in, in the Discord. So come and check it out. Lance is also doing some awesome swing and day trade alerts on futures and large cap stocks as well. He's also managing to learn Sir Goldman's scalping strategy and apply it to his own trades, which is really awesome to see. And uh, he is a little more conservative in some ways than Goldman. So you may not be able to quite cope with Goldman's scalping, but Lance is doing it in a slightly more conservative way. So could be quite interesting to see how that pans out as well going forward. So anyway, today was actually a kind of a landmark day. Um, he'd gone on another, so Sir Goldman, this is a channel in Psychic Traders. He'd gone on another 22 wins in a row, which is ridiculous. His losses are small, they're like 30%. And his wins go from anywhere from 30 percent to like 300 or 400 or 500 percent so to do 22 in a row he actually lost one today but won another two or three which we'll show you and it was just seeing this guy like in action is just amazing i follow him every day if i can uh, missed most of the trades today but still um it's something that it's really good and i think today was a base hit day so he made a few trades and go through them and he basically hit like 30 plus percent on each one and then took a loss on a lotto uh, at the end of the day. So that brought his 24 win streak to, you know, to an end. Uh, but that's fine. I'm happy with that. It's like a 95% win rate. This was all in the space of like a week or 10, 10 trading days, which is awesome as well. So you can expect two or three of these alerts a day. Uh, sometimes there'll be base hits, uh, which are a little harder to replicate. And sometimes there'll be monster winners that just, you know, go on for 300%. So... Anyway, let's have a look through and see what happened today. This is the channel. So he posted some of the things he was looking at. He recently released a course, which is amazing. So when he posts this stuff, you can actually like, if you've done the course, pull up the charts, figure out what he's exactly saying here, and then enter. And I know on this one, I think Lance today in Sidekick, he took this trade, I think it was this one, because he was already learning these patterns. So even though Goldman missed it, Lance got in and alerted it. And made some money on it, I think. So, you know, there's we're always learning and helping each other, which is good too. So Goldman waited until 11.04 to enter these puts. So the 39.40 puts at 2. So if we look at the time that that happened, it was 10.04 my time, which is right here. So let's zoom in. So 10.04 is this candle right here. So we're right here, let's just draw in our line. 10.04, and these are one minute candles. Oops, totally zoomed out. Let's get back to the chart. So 10.04. It's this little guy here. So I guess you guys can see this was the, the entry at 10.04 actually like more here. And so if we look at what actually happened, um, within about five minutes we were hitting 32%. So six minutes, so 11.10 or right here, we'd start to drop all the way down to here. Now the cool thing here is if this is a one minute chart. You can see you could have gotten a better price than Goldman did. And this is a lot of complaints people have that if they're a minute late or two minutes late, they don't get the move. Well, if you look, this is the candle he entered on for going short. And so it actually did pull back a fair bit here. And then he was able to short all the way down. So you're able to get a better entry within the first two or three minutes, one to two minutes at least, than he was. And even, even here, you would still have gotten a similar entry. So uh, I show this because a lot of people if they don't look at each one of these, they think that maybe these things always get away from them, but there's often ones that go sideways just a little bit, you know, a minute or two, three minutes, uh, and then, then they pull down. So he was able to get that for a short on SPX, 
which was great. You got 32%, I think. Started to scale out there. Yeah, and so it was a difficult day. He says there's too much chop and spy today, hard to do the strat plays. Uh, he has like four or five of these strategies that are really good. Been analyzing them recently. So yeah, it was a difficult day. He did it again though here. I think this one was a little later entry. Let's see. So this one took forever to work, which is good if you're a little late to the, the party, right? So at 11.44, he went short on SPX again. So let's go to 11.44. Fast forward here. Yeah, so 11.44 is right here. And so the real breakdown didn't happen until 11.50, right? So this really started to break down. So there was plenty of time to get in this thing to go short before it broke down. Again, this is a one minute chart. And so he got in at 205. It hit 2.4 2 pretty quickly. So that probably would have freaked some people out. But then he had this chance to enter. So uh, it basically started to go down and buy 12.51 or 11.51 my time. It was the way down here. So a bit of chop, but it did end up working in, in the end. So yeah, another 30 odd percent for the day. And then let's see where we're at now. So this is where his win streak came to an end. He went for calls on this lotto at 12.34. Let's go to 12.34. So unfortunately right here, it did just continue to sell off. And I think it hit a stop down here somewhere. It wasn't the end of the world. So 12.34, stop loss break even. So he was out of this trade within, within like 10 minutes, I think so, 13.46, yeah. And so he took a 35% stop loss on it. And so this is kind of what I wanted to show you is a lot of people say, ah, he has a 95% win rate. That means he must give it all back plus more on that one loss out of 10 or whatever. Uh, it's just not the case. So like, like looking at all these trades and if you come in on the three day trial, you can go through his whole track record here and look at each one, back test it all. And you'll see for yourself that this is legit. It's There's no, nothing being hidden here. Uh, this guy is the, probably one of the best traders I've come across uh, on the buy side of things at least. And so you can see his daily recap that I'll sometimes post in my Facebook group or whatever. You can see that two thirty-two percent wins and then a minus 35% lotto. But the position size for the lotto is always much smaller. So his lotto position sizes are half of the normal size position. So he didn't give a whole one of these back. You know, he didn't give the last win back. He gave half of the last win back. So still very green for the day. Streak of 24 has been finally destroyed by this one red. And so these losses are far and few between. So like I want to kind of show you that because nobody believes me when I when I tell them these things. Uh, because his win rate is like that of a sell side options trader. But he's a buy side options trader. And the percent wins are pretty large at times. Obviously it's easier to follow this guy if the wins are 300% instead of 32%. He actually considers those small wins, where a lot of people are more than happy with 10% or 20%. 32% is actually a small win for, for Goldman. So yeah, he admits it, like he admits his mistakes as well. So reviewing my lotto trade and have broken a few of my rules, just a bad decision. So a very humble guy as well, really impressed with him. Probably one of my favorite traders at the moment by far. So yeah, if you want to come and join us, we're talking people through how to get started with this guy, how to trade SPY or ES or SPX with these alerts. And so far, just so many people are coming in, so many people sending me messages saying how happy they are with the service and things. So definitely come and check it out. There's a three-day trial and I uh, hope to see you in there.